men like Zahir uh, identify how privileged they are. They identify how they can probably get away with things. I mean, even now he's he's pretending he doesn't speak Urdu. He's he's lived in Pakistan his whole life. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, as far as I know, he went to the U.S. for one year when he was doing his uh, undergraduate degree. And uh, he's pretending he doesn't speak Urdu. Uh, and he's saying he's a U.S. national and not a Pakistani. He's absolutely a Pakistani. He d definitely speaks Urdu. And so that's why he, he literally believes that he can get out of it. We're close family friends. Uh, we were when we were children. Um, I've known him since then. I, I never really was friends with him or anything uh, like that. And I think that's because a, he was uh, generally more introverted, more in the shadows of uh, social events and things like that. Um, he was al also a bit um, erratic, for lack of a better explanation, just like jumpy. Uh, I felt like he was easily offended. So those sort of things just made me want to maintain my distance. Uh, Noor and I became friends when we were teenagers. She uh, didn't grow up in Pakistan. Her father is an ambassador, as many people now know. Uh, she grew up in Ireland, uh, in Dublin. And so she had moved back to Islamabad when she was a teenager um, and she had this lovely Irish accent. I used to exoticize it a lot. Um, I do know that um, he went to the International School of Islamabad, ISY, the American school. And I know that the kind of guys that he was around were insanely misogynistic and abusive. I mean, these men were vile. And, and I'm like triggered even thinking about it because of the kind of things that they have said to me, that they have said about my mother, just remarks like that. And, you know, it's just, they were honestly some of the most vile men that I knew growing up in Islamabad. And, and obviously I, I, I don't speak to them now, so I can't really attest whether they've, you know, changed or unlearned any of their behavior. But I mean, um, seven, eight years ago, uh, I've been sharing these uh, Facebook conversations that I had with Zahir, where, you know, he's threatening trigger warning. Uh, he's he threatened to, um, I can't even say it honestly, um, but he basically threatened sexual violence. And um, so we knew each other uh, when we were teenagers. Um, she was very lovely, you know, we definitely had uh, some very good memories, uh, you know, of me like going to her house, she would come to my house, we would go swimming, uh, we would go and Sit, stand on her roof uh, in the diplomatic enclave and it was just it was just really nice and, and and very sweet wholesome person and I think back then at the time I'm not sure if I'm remembering correctly but when we were teenagers she uh, wanted to become a, a, a vet um, and uh, I mean I knew that she had always loved animals regarding his schizophrenia diagnosis I uh, we had heard seven or eight years ago that um, you know he was diagnosed um, and, and that was around the time that he was sending me these Facebook posts but that obviously does not excuse any of the the, the sort of violent messages that he not only sent to me but to others others who knew this but Unfortunately, we had just normalized it because, you know, we were like, oh, well, he's mentally ill. But no, like I have a relative who has schizophrenia. I know people who are mentally ill. And this is not a, a, a facet of schizophrenia to to murder someone so viciously. And, and secondly, to, in, to incite violence verbally. Like this is not because of mental illness. This is psychopathy and I do know that he had gone to the US I, I can't remember where um, for his undergraduate degree but he from what I remember the narrative was that he was experiencing a, a form of drug-induced psychosis which had triggered his sch schizophrenia and so his parents had taken him back to Pakistan and where he was going to rehab and getting mental health uh help and therapy and you know then he did this therapy works course uh, um i don't think he spent more time around women from what i can recall uh, i do know someone else that he was in a relationship with maybe uh, a couple of years ago i can't remember exactly when um, I, I never really spoke to her directly about that relationship 
Uh, but I do know from others that it was an abusive relationship where she was uh, physically abused and I'm sure emotionally abused as well. Um, so there was definitely uh, 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 that there, but I, I don't really know uh, any other details, uh, unfortunately.